Hi guys, Graham from Epson here again. I hope you saw my earlier video where I was telling you all about the new series, How Easy Is It, that I'm going to bring to you over the next few weeks. Uh, I just wanted to welcome you to the first episode, which is How Easy Is It to Set Up and Install a Colorworks Label Printer. Um, in this particular episode, we're going to be covering how easy it is to set up and install the Colorworks C6500 uh, label printer um, but as I said previously these techniques can be applied to virtually any one of our Colorworks label products so don't uh, don't just take it as a, as a one-off uh, instructional video. Uh, we'll get straight on with it now I hope you enjoy it and if you've got any feedback for me please do leave it uh, in comments below um, but otherwise I'll see you at the end of the video just to round off. Hope you enjoy, bye! The first step is to install the ink cartridges into the printer. This is done by opening the ink cartridge doors at the front and placing the corresponding ink cartridges into their slots. The slots are colour coded and they are also keyed so that you cannot place the wrong cartridge into the wrong slot. Next we install the maintenance box where ink is deposited that is used during cleaning of the printhead. To do this you open the main printer cover and open the smaller maintenance box compartment and install the maintenance box as shown. The next step is to install your label roll onto the media roll holder. To do this remove the clear perspex side plate and install your media roll onto the spindle, pushing firmly against the fixed side guide. Replace the Perspex side plate and you're ready to go. You're now ready to connect your printer to the power socket using the included standard mains kettle lead. Simply plug this into the port on the back of the printer and into a nearby power socket. Now you've connected your power, you can turn on the printer using the power button located on the front panel. If this is the first time you have turned on your printer, the power up sequence may take some time. You must allow this to complete in full. During the power on cycle, your printer may initiate a cleaning routine. This could take up to four minutes or longer. You must allow this to complete, it should not be interrupted. It is important that you allow cleaning routines to complete in full to maintain print quality. Once the printer is powered on, you are ready to install your label roll. To install media in the printer, open the main cover and place the media roll holder into the bay. Find the front edge of the media Open the paper guide and close it to the media edge, making sure not to crush the paper. Push the paper into the printer until it stops and the printer will take the paper off you automatically. You can then close the main cover and your printer is now loaded and ready to go. If you have a peeler version of the printer, you will need to feed the peel unit with media. To do this, open the peel unit as shown feed some media out of the printer and peel at least one or more labels off the backing paper depending upon the length of the labels. Feed the backing paper through the lower slot in the peeler and close the peeler module as shown. Lock into place. Feed some more media and your labels should auto peel and feed to the gap. To download the printer driver, visit our technical resources portal at epson-biz.com and click on the Colorworks download link. Click 
Click on the most appropriate product section for which you require printer drivers. Click on the blue button directly beneath the product picture. Expand the Windows Printer Driver section and click the link to visit the download page for the printer driver. Finally, scroll down and locate the most appropriate printer driver for your product and click the download link. Locate the downloaded file, most likely in your downloads folder. Double click the executable to begin extracting the file. When the setup begins, click OK, read the license agreement and click Agree, then click OK. A printer connection selection box will then appear. For the purposes of this demonstration, we are going to connect on USB. But it is just as easy to connect via network if you so choose. At this stage, you can connect the supplied USB cable to the USB port on the back of the printer to an available USB port on your computer. The utility should automatically detect the presence of your printer and complete the installation. To verify that your installation was successful, open your control panel and navigate to your devices and printers folder. You should see that a new printer driver has now been installed for your product. Okay guys, so that's how easy it was to install and set up a Colorworks printer. Pretty easy, wasn't it? So in the next episode, we'll go on to looking at how easy it is to start printing labels. We'll set up a, a quick label design in a label software, uh, and we'll set up the printer driver so that it's correctly configured to print a particular kind of label, uh, and you'll be able to see how that's done. Uh, again, if you've got any suggestions on other things you'd like to see done on these printers, let me know and I'll try and create some instructional videos for you uh, and we'll go from there. But for now, goodbye from me. Thanks.